Hello viewers and my students. Welcome you all to my channel. I'm Hashim Ali Khan here. Presently, I'm giving the lectures on the subject cost accounting. In this cost accounting subject, I have uploaded different videos on unit and output costing, job costing, process costing, contract costing, material, uh, not material, labor over it. Just now we have completed labor topic. Now in this video, I'm going to start the topic material. What are the techniques available to control the material cost? So hope my viewers who are regular watching my videos have got a good command on the topics of cost accounting. So far I have uploaded many videos. If you are watching regularly, you might have got a good command on the subject of cost accounting. Now, those viewers who are first time watching this channel, please go to the playlist. I have uploaded the videos on different subjects of financial accounting, advanced accounting, corporate accounting, business statistics, financial management, uh, investment management. So many videos I've uploaded. Select your concerned subject, watch the video till the end, get a good command on the subject. So now I'm going to start the topic of material. See here, in most of the organization, the major part of the total cost of production is of material. So there is an utmost need that this material cost should be controlled. Otherwise, what will happen? The total cost of production will increase. When cost of production increases, the profitability will come down. So one of the objective of the cost accounting is to control the cost, to ascertain the cost and to control the cost. So here in this topic of material, I'm going to explain you the importance of material the classification of metal into direct material and indirect material. Then I'm going to explain to you about storekeeping department, importance of storekeeping department. And what are the records to be records that is kept for uh, controlling the material. Then uh, bin card and stores ledger. Then inventory control, objectives of inventory control, essentials of inventory control. Next, I'm going to discuss about the techniques available for controlling the inventory. And lastly, pricing of material issues. These are the topics I'm going to explain you in detail. So keep watching the video till the end. Don't skip in between. You may not be able to understand. So my suggestion to the viewers, if you're seriously about learning this subject, watch the video till the end. Now, material. Importance of material cannot be overemphasized. <clears throat> the, first, uh, the first element of cost is material cost so it is the responsibility of the management to keep some uh, to keep a plan for controlling the material cost so uh, material normally there is a uh, inter there, uh, there are some interchangeable terms like material stores inventory but these three terms have specific different meanings material are those commodities or substances which are used for converting the material into finished goods for making the finished goods, the main commodity which is used is called material. Then stores. Stores is a wide term which includes material and also the other tools, the sundry supplies, all these will come under stores. And inventory includes not only material but also work in progress, finished goods that will come under inventory. So this shows that material is very important first component of total cost of production that's why there is a need to control to manage the inventory inventory should neither be excessive nor there should be shortage we have to maintain a proper inventory according to the requirement zyada rakhe to bhi problem hai kam rakhe to bhi problem hai to adequate inventory should be maintained now this shows the importance secondly material can be divided into direct material and indirect material the direct material are the specific material which are used for making the finished product. The material which is conveniently charged to the finished product. The material which can be identified in the finished product. Specifically purchased for the product. That is called direct material. Example in case of furniture. In case of furniture we can say uh, wood is the material, is the direct material. Because without wood, no furniture can be made. The wood is easily identifiable in the finished product. Similarly, in case of uh, in case of textile industry, cotton, 
cotton is the main direct material in case of sugar the main raw material is the sugar cane so direct material indirect material is that material which is not specifically consumed for a particular product but it is consumed among all the products not specifically chargeable to a particular product but the material which is consumed by all the product example in case of furniture manufacturing some glue is used some fevi call like that for pasting then this glue or uh, this uh, fevicol which is used not only for making one furniture but all the different types of furniture similarly nails screws these are the items which are not specifically purchased for a particular product but it is purchased for all the product these are called indirect material next comes store keeping actually store keeping is uh, concerned with storage physical storage of material so management should give importance to this store keeping department because by having a good store keeping there is less loss of material there will be not be any wastage spoilage deterioration of material so proper storage area should be kept for keeping the material so if the business is having a good storage space then definitely there won't be any loss due to wastage, spoilage, evaporation or deterioration like that. So importance of store keeping cannot be overemphasized again because the inventory should be kept in a, in a place, in such a place where the, it will be conveniently transported from that place to the place of production. And always the inventory should be kept ready before the yeah, I mean requirement of material. So that shows the importance of store keeping department. Now store keeping records. All the records have to be kept regarding the movement of material. Materials are received at one point of time but consumed at another point of time. So the material should be recorded properly to have a good control on the material cost. So normally two records are kept that is bin card and stores ledger. Bin card and stores ledger are the two records which are kept for the movement of material. So what is the procedure here? First of all materials are procured. One purchasing department is there. They will uh, give the uh, order to the supplier. They will receive. The purchasing department will receive the material and pass it on, on to inspection department. The inspection department once it is approved then it will be transport it will be I mean given to the storekeeping department the storekeeper has to keep the material till the time when requisition of material will, re will be received from the production department so it, at this time two types of records are to be kept that is bin card and stores ledger then what are the differences between bin card and stores ledger bin card will be maintained by the storekeeper whereas stores ledger will be kept by the cost accounting department first difference second difference in bin card we record only the quantities how much quantity received how much quantity issued and how much quantity is the balance only quantity will be recorded recorded in bin card but in stores ledger we record quantity as well as value quantity as well as value in other words we can say in bin card we will open the column we will make the column of quantity and uh, only quantity how much quantity received how much quantity issued and how much quantity balance whereas in case of st uh, stores ledger we make three columns first column quantity second unit price third total value for receipt issue and balance next one is the bin card in bin card we record whenever it is received and whenever it is issued but when material is transferred from one job to another job it will not be recorded in bin card it will be recorded in the stores ledger so these are some of the differences between bin card and stores ledger now inventory control so inventory control or material control or stores control is concerned with all the aspects regarding the recording usage recording the uh, i mean order for material 
regarding the receiving of material, inspecting the material, storing the material and usage of material. It is concerned with the aspect of all the stages of material from placing the order till the material is consumed. The first step, the order will be placed for purchasing, procuring the material by the purchasing department. Once the material is received, it will be inspected by the inspection department. Once it is approved, it will be transferred to the storekeeping department. The storekeeper will keep the material till the time when requisition is received from the production department. Production department will use the material. So all this, all these stages will come under material inventory control or material control. So it is concerned with the aspect of purchasing, inspecting, storing and usage of material. Now objectives of material control. The main objective of material control is material should always be available before utilizing the material. So there should not be any shortage of material. The material should always be available as and when it is required for production. Similarly, the material should not be in excessive. There should not be even any overstocking of material. That will incur carrying cost. So overstocking of inventory should not be done. So the main objective of inventory is sufficient inventory should always be maintained so that there won't be any interruption in production. At the same time, there should not be any overstocking of metal. Similarly, the uh, inventory control, one another objective of inventory control is there should not be any wastage, there should not be any theft, pilferage or deterioration of inventory. The proper records of inventory should be kept. There should be standard forms that should be utilized. All these are the objectives of metal control. Essentials of metal control are there should be proper coordination between the different departments concerned with material. The different departments are purchasing department, inspection department, stores department, production department. All these departments should work in a coordinated way. Then only we can be able to achieve the objectives of inventory control. Standard forms, standard procedure should be adopted for requiring the material, for purchasing the material. And another thing is, as a, one of the essential element of inventory material control is there should be proper procedure of how to give the order for replenishment of material. So all this comes under essentials of material control. Now the next is techniques of material control. We have seen the importance of objectives of material control. Agar material ko control nahi karenge to material cost badhenga, cost of production badh jayega, profitability down ho jayegi. To profitability ko increase karne ke liye material ko control karna hai. To what are the techniques? So far we have seen the importance of controlling the inventory. Now what are the techniques available for controlling the inventory? So many techniques are there. The first technique is perpetual inventory system. Under perpetual inventory system, what we will do is we will make the columns regarding the receipts, issues and balance. After every receipt and after every issue, a balance of inventory is stuck. That means we calculate the balance of inventory after every receipt of inventory or every issue of inventory. So by keeping this perpetual inventory system, always we can be able to have on hand how much is the value of inventory in the stock. There, there won't be any physical stock taking. That means the problems of physical stock taking can be avoided by having this perpetual inventory system. Always we can be able to control the inventory by having a balance. We keep the records in such a way that balance is stuck after every receipt and after every issue. That is called perpetual inventory system. By keeping this perpetual inventory system, we can be able to achieve the objectives of material control. The cost of metal will come down. We can be able to plan the material. Then secondly, stock levels. Storekeeper will keep a card called bin card. The bin card is hanged on the rack where metal is kept. For every type of material, separate bin card will be hanged. On that bin card, the storekeeper will record maximum level, minimum level, reordering level, average stock level, danger level. All these levels are written on the bin card. 
so every day the storekeeper has to verify check what is the level what is the present level of every type of stock why this binka why the stock levels are kept to find out maximum level minimum level maximum level is that level beyond which the inventory should not be allowed to go if the inventory goes above maximum level it denotes it uh, means that there is overstocking of metal money is blocked interest charges will arise so the inventory should not go beyond maximum level minimum level is the minimum stock that should be maintained if the inventory goes below minimum there is every possibility that the production will be interrupted stopped so all these reordering level that level when the inventory reaches a new order should be placed so these are called stock levels economic ordering quantity this is another technique of inventory control eoq economic ordering quantity it is that quantity which is to be ordered at a time to replenish the stock so that the total inventory cost should be minimum so eoq is a technique which is applied to find out how much quantity to be ordered at a time so that the inventory cost should be minimum what are the inventory cost carrying cost and ordering cost two costs are attached with inventory that is ordering cost if we keep if we give more orders ordering cost will increase but carrying cost will be less because we are keeping less quantity in the godown suppose if we uh, if we give less orders the ordering cost will decrease but carrying cost will increase so there is inverse relationship between ordering cost and carrying cost the total inventory cost consists of ordering cost plus carrying cost so what is the ordering quantity at which both ordering cost and carrying cost will be minimum that quantity is called eoq so how to find out the eoq we have the formula eoq is equal to 2co by i under root by applying this formula we calculate we calculate eoq next is abc analysis abc analysis abc analysis is called a selective method of controlling the inventory a selective method of controlling the inventory in this abc analysis all the items of inventories are classified into three categories a b c a category items are those items whose value is more but the quantity is less a that uh, i mean category of items whose value is more but the quantity is less strict control should be applied on this a category items c category items are entire exactly opposite where the quantity is large but the value is small huge quantity but the value is small that is c category least control should be applied on c category so highest control should be applied on a category least control should be applied on c category and moderate control will be applied on middle category where cost and uh, value and the quantity both are more or less similar so a category high value less quantity strict control c category high quantity and less value least control and b category moderate quantity and moderate value so medium control should be applied on b category item that is called abc analysis jit just in time it's a unique method of controlling the inventory in which no stock will be kept inventory will be purchased the material will be purchased immediately before usage before consumption for example in a manufacturing organization they won't keep the material they will purchase the specific material whenever order comes jab ek order aayega to order ke hisab se immediately material purchase karke use kar lenge without keeping the material in the godown there are advantages as well as disadvantages of jit advantage is money will not be blocked in inventory unnecessary blocking of money in inventory is avoided the so interest charges will be less that is the advantage but the disadvantage is always it is risky because suppose if the material we cannot be able to get then definitely our production will get interrupted always we should keep the material on hand before usage so this is the disadvantage of jet vet vital essential and desirable just like abc 
ABC classifies the inventory according to value, whereas VED will classify the inventory according to its criticality. Criticality. Suppose if the material is very, very critical, if there is shortage of the material, completely it will break down, it will close down the production. So critical material that will be placed, that will be called vital material. Strict control should be made on vital material, whether its value is more or less, doesn't make any difference. The how much critical it is, that is the most important. Then essential. Essential are those in material items which are very important. If there is shortage or loss of that material, there will be huge loss in production. But it is not as vital as this, as critical as that vital items. The production will not be stopped but huge loss will be incurred if there is deficiency or shortage of essential items and desirable items are those items which are necessary but not so important if there is shortage or lack of these desirable items the loss will be very small in this way according to criticality we divide into VED vital essential desirable lastly FNSD FNSD, the full form is fast, normal, slow, desirable. According to this classification, the inventory items are classified according to the frequency of its utilization. If it is fast utilized, if it is very frequently utilized, it is called F. Then this inventory should be kept in more quantity because it is fast used. The frequency of usage is very high. The normal, normal means it's neither fast nor slow. It is normal inventory, so normal control should be applied. Slow, slow moving material are those material which are which are used very slowly, which are utilized very slowly. The frequency is very slow, so very less material is enough. Dead, dead means those material which are very very rarely utilized. It will not at all be utilized. Sometimes it will be utilized. That is called dead stock. Like this. These are all the techniques available for controlling or managing the inventory. Next topic comes issue of material to production or pricing of material issues. This is the next topic, last topic of this material control. Pricing of material issues. Materials are purchased at different point of time at different prices. The storekeeper will, purchase, will receive the material at different point of time at different prices then the question arises whenever we issue the material at what price we should charge the material to the cost of production because production is made at different point of time materials are also received at different point of time at different prices now the question arises at what price the material should be charged to cost of production right so there are different methods of issuing the materials the first method is FIFO First in first out method. Jo mal pahre aya wo mal ko pahle issue karenge. This is the first method. First FIFO, FIFO method. Second method is LIFO method. Last in first out. Jo baad mein aayega, last mein aayega, usko pahle issue karenge. This is the second method. Third method is average cost method. In average cost method, we will not consider when it is purchased. We simply calculate the average price. At that average price, we issue the material. Now, average may be two types of simple average and weighted average. In simple average method, we simply add up all the prices divided by number of prices. All the prices divided by number of prices. Whereas weighted average, we calculate the value of inventory divided by quantity. So comparatively, weighted average has an edge over simple average. This will be better. Then base stock method. Base stock method. In this base stock method, we keep a sep some separate stock of material to be used only during emergency. Example, in a manufacturing organization, some material is very, very critical. If there is shortage of that material, the production will be hampered, will be stopped. So we will keep a separate base stock of that material to be used only during emergency. So in this base stock method, some a stock a quantity of material will be kept separately to be used only during emergency. Normal circumstances that material will not be used. This is called base stock method. Specific price method. In this specific price method, we will not see when the material is received. received. 
whatever material is received at what price that price only will be charged to the cost of production next one is a market price or replacement price method if an organization follow this market price or replacement price it will not take the actual price purchase price of material it will see what is the market price at the time of usage of material जो टाइम पे मेटेरियल यूज कर रहे हैं वो टाइम पे उसका मार्केट प्राइस क्या है दैट मार्केट प्राइस वी चार्ज द कॉस्ट ऑफ प्रोडक्शन द कॉस्ट ऑफ मेटेरियल नेक्स्ट वन इज स्टैंडर्ड प्राइस द स्टैंडर्ड प्राइस विल बी यूज्ड व्हेन द मैनेजमेंट सेज वी विल फिक्स अ स्टैंडर्ड प्राइस ऑफ मेटेरियल टू बी चार्ज टू द कॉस्ट ऑफ प्रोडक्शन इररिस्पेक्टिव ऑफ एक्चुअल कॉस्ट ऑफ मटेरियल देन लास्ट वन इन्फ्लेटेड प्राइस समटाइम्स बाय कीपिंग द मेटेरियल इन द गोडाउन there will be some loss of metal due to evaporation due to spoilage etc so what we will do is the cost of this spoilage or deterioration that cost will be inflated to the actual metal price actual metal price that is called inflated price actual price is 10 rupees per kilogram but we charge the metal at 12 rupees per kilogram 2 rupees extra we are charging that is called inflated price due to the losses that's all so this is the complete theory of material control then now the formula i'll give you the formula of uh, material control techniques the first formula is eoq economic ordering quantity it is that quantity at which the total inventory cost will be minimum the total inventory cost consists of uh, carrying cost and ordering cost the ordering cost and carrying cost combined together constitutes inventory cost so at what quantity the total inventory cost will be minimum that is called eoq so how to find out eoq 2 co by i c stands for annual usage or annual consumption o stands for ordering cost per order and i stands for carrying cost per unit per annum by substituting these values in this formula we'll get economic ordering quantity next comes stock levels the formula for stock levels first of all reorder level reorder level means that level at which a new order will be placed by the uh, new order will be placed by the storekeeper for example on the bin card it is given maximum level 1000 units minimum level 200 units and reordering level 400 units that whenever the inventory reaches this reordering level of 400 units a requisition for purchasing new material will be issued by the storekeeper to the purchase department to the purchase department so how to find out reorder level two formulas are there first one maximum usage into maximum reorder period this for first formula one formula if the in the problem maximum usage and maximum reorder period is given we apply this one to find out reordering level one more formula is there reorder level level is equal to minimum level minimum level plus consumption during lead time <clears throat> lead time means the time gap between placing the order and receiving the goods the time gap between placing the order and receiving the goods that is called lead time so consumption during lead time minimum level plus consumption during lead time that will give you reordering level now minimum stock level <clears throat> the formula for minimum stock level is reordering level minus normal usage into normal reorder period similarly maximum level maximum stock level is equal to reordering level plus reordering quantity minus minimum usage into minimum reorder period next one is average stock level the average stock level is minimum stock level plus half of reorder quantity then last one danger stock level the danger stock level average rate of consumption into emergency delivery time that's it so these are the formulas we are going to apply for calculating the stock levels and eoq that's all so all the problems in this material we can classify into three categories first we'll do the problems on eoq next on stock levels last one is pricing of material issues these are the problems we are going to solve in the coming videos so here it's the end of theory or introduction part of material control inventory control so what we have discussed 
the importance of inventory control, the direct material, indirect material, store keeping, importance of store keeping, and we have discussed about the records kept for material control, bin card and stores ledger differences. Then we have discussed about inventory control, objectives of inventory control, essentials of inventory control, and what are the techniques available for inventory control. Different techniques, perpetual inventory system is there, ABC analysis, VA, uh, then EOQ, stock levels, all these are the techniques which are applied in order to control the material cost. Last one we have discussed about the pricing of metal issues. What are the different methods of pricing of metal issues? FIFO method, LIFO method, simple average, weighted average. The problems we have only on these four. FIFO, LIFO, simple average, weighted average. These are all theoretical methods. Base stock method, specific price, all these are theoretical. Then we have discussed about the form. Hope you got a command on the theory or introduction part of material control. We'll continue this in the next video. The problems I'll start on material control. If you are satisfied, give a like to this video. Give the comment. I'm actually anxiously waiting for your comments. It gives me a lot of encouragement to give more and more better videos by seeing your comment and share the video in your group in your friends so that more students can be get the benefit from these videos and don't forget to subscribe my channel see you again in the next video on the problems of material